So we have this equation, we immediately, well, once we diagnose that this is a higher degree equation, by higher, we mean higher than degree one, that means we have to reduce one side to zero, factor and apply the zero product rule. There's nothing else under the sun. Also, you might see a huge GCF on both sides if you're tempted to, to divide, resist. So what we're gonna do is reduce one side to zero without creating negative leading coefficients. That means that this should stay where it is. So we're gonna subtract three x to the sixth power. So now let's factor. There is gonna be a sizable GCF, right? So between the numbers, the three, between x to the seven and x to the six, they both have at least x to the six. And then three to six, that's a two, x to the six to x to the seven is x. And three to the x to the six is, is there. We already have it. Sometimes that's confusing, but we can just lose a piece because then the multiplication backwards doesn't work. When we factored out everything, what's left is a one. So then the multiplication backwards works. All right, we have a product of eight factors. Six of them are x times x times x. And then there is a three and there is a two x minus one. And this product is zero. Well, how can that be? Three will never be zero. X to the six or X is zero when X is zero. So that's a solution. And that's a solution you would lose if you divide it by what we should just factor out. And then two X minus one equals zero is the other linear equation, which we solve for X. So we have two solutions, zero and one half. If we go back to the original equation, zero is very clearly gonna work. And if we use x equals a half, then we have six times one half to the seventh power on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, we have three times one half to the sixth power. Well, I'm gonna be a little bit um, lazy here, but what if we just take one out of the seven here? One half to the seventh power is one half times one half to the sixth power. And then this is three, and this is one half to the sixth power. So actually both zero and one half work. So those are both solutions. Thank you for watching.